And Cleveland city budget talks turned into serious discussions today about the financial future for thousands of safety workers. That includes police, fire and EMS. Cleveland Safety Committee trying to determine if Mayor Justin Bibbs first budget proposal will do enough to solve staffing shortages and pay disparities in all departments. Union leadership with both Cleveland Police and Cleveland EMS are saying they're hopeful the needed pay and benefit adjustments can be made. But News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis reports some city leaders believe if the changes are not made, the result could bring growing staffing shortages and have an impact on city safety. Both the Cleveland Police and Cleveland EMS unions say currently EMTs, police officers and paramedics are some $20,000 behind in annual pay compared to suburban and county departments. And if that pay disparity isn't shored up, there'll be some serious staffing shortages. Through attrition, we're going to lose X amount but we've only allocated for 180. Cleveland City Council budget talks with the City Department of Public Safety. Council leadership wondering if the Bibb administration's budget proposal calling to increase the number of Cleveland police officers to 1,640 will be enough based on officer retirement projections in 2022. There's no way, Mr. Chairman, to the director, in God's green earth, we're ever going to be able to hit the number that we're budgeting for. We're in desperate times right now. We need to keep people. Cleveland Police Union President Jeff Fulmer told News 5 the Cleveland officer top pay of $67,300 annually after 10 years is just not competitive enough. Go to Columbus at what, 103-ish? You know, you go to any of the suburbs, they're 80 to mid 80s to higher 80s. And Fulmer says there are more than 250 officers who have 25 years or more and are eligible to retire. He's concerned if wages aren't made competitive, a significant number of them will move to higher paying police departments. The critical time is going into summer. I mean, we got to keep these guys. If we go down three, 400 people, um, we're not going to be able to function as a police department. We're still running about 55 to 60 short. Pay disparity may be an even bigger issue at Cleveland EMS, where a top annual pay of 62000 annually after 10 years is even further behind other Northeast Ohio departments. Some hospital systems are paying incentive pay of $40 an hour. I mean... <laughs> How do you compete with that? Still, both Cleveland safety unions, who are also going into contract talks, are working to remain optimistic about the city budget process over the next several weeks. Hopefully this administration can resolve it. And again, we, we are hopeful. And the city of Cleveland is mandated to approve the Bibb administration's $1.8 billion city budget proposal by April 1st. I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis.